Hello, my name is Megan Le Palud, and I'm glad to be here with you to talk about the Akinio connection experience. As you probably already know, each PIM has to interact with third parties, an ERP, a DAM, a CMS, syndication tools, commerce platforms, and many others. This need to connect Akinio PIM is the reason why we introduced the connections in our forward version. And all year long, we never stop working on this connection experience. Before introducing our new features, let me tell you a story. Julia is a marketing manager at Zara. We are in October and Julia absolutely needs to validate and enrich all the Christmas products before the end of the month. She takes a coffee break with her colleague and randomly finds out that the Christmas collection GTINs have been available in the ERP for a week, since last Friday. What a waste of time. She accesses her Akinio PIM, but she still has empty GTINs on Christmas products. She asks you, her IT contact for the PIM, why the ERP GTINs are not synchronized with Akinio PIM. But you can't see anything, so you open a support ticket. The Akinio support team accesses the PIM logs and sees that the ERP synchronization doesn't work because the ERP GTIN format doesn't match the PIM GTIN attributes validation parameters. As soon as you receive the support team answer, you update the GTIN attribute parameters to fix the synchronization issue. Then, you manually launch the ERP synchronization process to avoid Julia wasting more time. Julia finally sees all the GTI ends in her PIM. She checks and double checks all the product data and validates the Christmas collection. She hopes to see Christmas products in the e-commerce back office quickly because the synchronization issue already made her lose too much time. But a problem never comes alone. We are on Friday morning and she needs to wait until Monday morning to validate Christmas products in her e-commerce solution. Indeed, Akinio PIM and the e-commerce app synchronization happens only once a day during the night. To answer this story and give more autonomy to you and Julia, we developed two main features. The error monitoring on source connections and the brand new Evans API. Thanks to the error monitoring feature, you are now able to know when errors happen during synchronization treatments between an application that pushes data in the PIM and Akinio PIM itself. In the connection dashboard, you can easily track product errors that occurred over the last seven days. The graph shows the number of product errors, business and technical, and connection cards display the number of business errors for the past week. But that's not all. If you click on a connection square, you access the new error monitoring screen that displays all the business errors related to product synchronization. This page displays information about the last 100 business errors. For example, an error like the name attribute must not contain more than 50 characters, the submitted value is too long, is considered as a business error. It means that Julia could easily solve it by updating the title attribute validation parameters. Each message contains three parts. The message, to explain what went wrong during the connection synchronization. External links, to access the correct pages in our help center directly. And internal links, to help you to check the right settings of your PIM. This is where you are going to go to solve your business error. Here, you can directly increase the maximum number of characters allowed. Let's go back to the error monitoring screen. It also displays some additional information about the related product, its label and identifier, its family, and when this is relevant, the attribute channel and locale. Above the list, we added a search bar to quickly filter messages and find errors related to a specific product. For instance, Julia realizes that she misses some translation on one of her products. She can directly look for that particular product in the search bar and identify quickly if there was any error related to this product and act on it if necessary. The error monitoring feature allows you to understand and update Akinio PIM settings to fix some issues. 
Our goal by developing this feature was to give you more autonomy and save you a lot of time in your work. We also wanted to save money by preventing you from contacting our support for errors you can solve all by yourself. Now, let's see another piece of that puzzle, the Events API. We all know that please wait for the next automatic synchronization is not exactly what Julia wants to hear when she's in a rush. That is why we wanted to offer a new way to connect Akinio PIM with third parties. Coupled with our existing REST API, the Events API offers an additional and complementary way to synchronize PIM data with your destination applications, like marketplaces or e-commerce platforms. By reducing synchronization delays, it gives you the power to accelerate the access and distribution of your product information. Let me get back to my story and show you how much of a difference it makes. Julia finally sees all the GTAN in her PIM. She checks and double checks all the product data and validates the Christmas collection. She needs to see the Christmas products on her e-commerce website quickly because she already lost too much time because of this synchronization issue. Remember, the one with the ERP. With an e-commerce connector compatible with the Events API, Julia will be able to see her Christmas products in the e-commerce back office almost instantly. Great, isn't it? Of course, it will take some time to update IT systems or develop compatible connectors. But we also wanted to ease that part. To do so, we published a lot of articles to help you understand how it works how to set up your Arkinio PIM to send events, and how to use events in the connector on our Help Center and Akinio API's website. So please, feel free to read them and ask us all your questions. On the Akinio side, everything is ready. Before saying goodbye, let me sum up this presentation. With the 5.0 version, we give you Insights to be more autonomous, fixing synchronization issues with the error monitoring feature. And an additional and complementary way to synchronize your product data with third parties faster thanks to the Events API. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you for your attention. If you want more news about Akinio PIM and PXM, check out the other Unlock videos and sessions. Goodbye and stay safe.